This is Radar for On The Radar Entertain Blog, coming to another edition of MLB Observation for the 2021 off-season hot stove, week 13. I can't believe this. We've there, It's been 13 weeks, and there is no sign of baseball's lockout ending or whenever spring training is supposed to start because pitchers and catchers usually report in February, and then that's when everything starts. So we're going to get to some, some sad news. The world of baseball lost a few baseball players in the past week. Rest in peace to David Green, a Nicaraguan baseball player who played first base and outfield, mostly for the Cardinals, and one season with the Giants. When he's when he when it all said and done, he could say, "I was on the 1982 Cardinals team, and I even went overseas and played baseball." He passed away from respiratory failure during complications of COVID-19 prior to his death. He also played for the Rangers and the Braves minor league teams as well rest in peace to david green and then we lost ethan blackaby the former outfielder who played for the milwaukee braves he has illinois roots as he went to can he, he attended high school in canon illinois then he went to champaign urbana as well and then he also spent time serving a general manager of a minor league baseball team after his career was over the, the outfielder, Ethan, passed away at age of 81. Rest in peace to him. Former relief pitcher for the Mets, who's from Detector, Illinois. Jeff Innes passed away at the age of 59. He passed away due to complications of cancer. So rest in peace to Jeff Innes. Then we lost Major League catcher Vic Rosnavosky, who played for the Cubs, Orioles, and Phillies. He passed away at age of 80, 83. And one thing that he can say when it's all said and done is that even though he was on the roster for the 66 World Series, he didn't play any games, but he has a World Series ring, winning a World Series with the Baltimore Orioles in 1966. Rest in peace to you, Vic. And in retirement news, Matt McGill, the journeyman relief pitcher, has retired at age of 32, which is pretty early for a journeyman reliever. He played for the Dodgers in the major leagues and then the Reds, Twins, and Mariners. But in between that, he just bounced around from team to team for a bit. And he decided to announce his retirement. So happy trails to Matt McGill. Nicky Delamonico, former Sox, Orioles, Brewers, Reds outfielder, has announced his retirement from Major League Baseball. He has two older brothers who also played baseball. And his father, Rod, also played a little bit of baseball and coached as well. So Officially, Nicky Delamonico's career is over because he's now been officially hired as a hitting coach for the Winston-Salem Dash, the Sox single-A team. So now you know his career is officially over. Another Sox player to announce his retirement is Alec, Alec with a C, Hansen. The Sox highly touted a starting pitcher, decided to become a relief pitcher, but it just did not work out. So he decided that he's going to retire at the age of 27. That's a little sad for me because I was expecting him to be in the Sox bullpen this year. He decided to retire. In other baseball news, the Dodgers have signed Sam Gagavillo to a minor league deal. Again, organizational depth. Cardinals picked up Aaron Brooks, minor league deal. That's organizational depth. The Giants signed Jorge Guzman, minor league depth. And the Rangers signed out for the Joe McCarthy. Again, because they're not really, they have high expectations, but they definitely don't have, it's not going to be a playoff team, so that's organizational depth. Giants also signed Luis Ortiz and Wee Chang Hong to minor league deals. Again, organizational depth. Jeff Francis has been elected into Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame class of 2022. Congratulations to him. He's one of the greatest pitchers in Colorado Rockies history, but he's also a Canadian-born baseball player, and he would definitely probably make the all-time Canadian baseball team. Major League Baseball announced a Triple A season. Whenever this, whenever we fix Major League Baseball, they're making the minor league season up for the Triple A team 150 games. That just means less Triple A players playing for. The team in September, when they obviously changed the four-man roster rules, where you only can play a certain amount now, instead of having a full 40 players, which I thought was stupid, they changed that. Omar Minaya, former Mets front office executive and GM, has been hired as consultant for amateur scouting initiatives. I don't know what he's really good at, because the Mets had some success with him, but a lot of controversy with him. So I'm not like, oh my God, that's so cool, he's, he's going to help Major League Baseball. Julio Brabone, former Major League outfielder, the Rangers and the Orioles and whatnot, is, is going to join the Twins player development. After spending some time in the Yankees minor league system, he has moved over to work for the Twins. It probably is a promotion because who's going to leave a job with the Yankees? They're usually one of the teams that pay people a lot of money. 
And also speaking of the Yankees, Carlos Beltran is going to be hired to Yes Network, replacing David Cohn, who is leaving to do baseball with ESPN. This will be good for Beltran, because if he can get in the public eye, show off how smart he is, how likable he is as a broadcaster, maybe he'll help when he becomes on the ballot and they can forget about him being a coach on the Astros with these cheating scandal there. Dan Straley, one of my favorite pitchers, is now back at Major League Baseball. He's trying to mildly deal with the D-backs. He had been pitching overseas for a bit of time, so it's good to see him come back. And Otani, who they made an outstanding baseball award just for him last year, won the Silver Slugger at DH and all these other awards last year. He's now getting the, uh, the cover of MLB The Show for the 2022 season, so that is interesting. The Red Sox hire Anthony Agape as a senior head hitting coach. The one-time Cubs hitting coach has now joined the Red Sox. I, the Red Sox definitely they had a good year last year, but always improving the coaching staff will be a good idea because hitting is always hot and cold streaks. And the Red Sox hitting coach, you know, is like, yeah, I don't know if I want to be there. The Nationals hired John Wheel a special assistant, so they're trying to redo the whole entire front office, the whole entire development system. And the Brewers have hired Ricky Weeks and Pedro Alvarez. So this really signals that Ricky Weeks who I've seen occasionally be on MLB Network and doing some broadcasting, is officially done with baseball. And Pedro Alvarez, who who has never officially retired because he is someone who played in the minor leagues and played independently and, like, overseas, he is now officially retired at the age of 34 because the last thing that Pedro Alvarez did was in 2018. He was, on the, he was in the Marlins spring training so then you got 19, and then you have the pandemic season, and then last year. So this officially calls the career ending for Pedro Alvarez, as he was a one-time All-Star. And in that one year, he won a Silver Slugger and the National League home run. He won a Silver Medal in the Pan American Games, and then he won a Gold for the Baseball World Cup in 2009. And uh, he also won in the World U World University Baseball Championship 2006 for. That was in Havana with gold medals. So some gold medals, silver sluggers, and all-star appearances. So when it's all said and done, he's got some things in his career that he should be proud of. Ricky Weeks, though, was a one-time all-star. He's in the Brewers Hall of Fame. Won a Golden Spike and a Dick Howser Award when he was in college. He is now 39, so it makes sense that his career is over because the last he played was in 2017. So now it's been five official years. And he... He is now going to be helping the Brewers, so the Brewers hiring from within. So a lot of these moves of these teams hiring players like Coco Chris and Bill Mueller were hired recently, and some other guy, Trey Hillman. A lot of these teams are realizing we need to fix our scouting departments. We need to fix our minor league development and our coaching staff, so that's, what's, that's what they're doing. But rest in peace to David Green, Ethan Blackaby, Jeff Bennett, Victor Rosny. Happy trails to Matt McGill, his career. Nikki Delamonico, who is now going to coaching. Ricky Weeks and Pedro Alvarez who are now going to get the coaching, which signals the end of their career. And Carlos and Jeff Francis going to the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. And happy trails to Alec Hansen, who retired. Thank you for listening to another edition of MLB Observations for the 2021 offseason Hot Stove Edition, Week 13. I'm Radar for On the Red Tablog. See you guys next time.